locks wearers, the sister locks wearers whose hair texture can't keep the grid. You probably started with a grid, but you're finding that every time you go for your retight, you're not seeing the grid. This post is for you. Every day we are thinking, getting our thinking of how to help save your hair, how to help save African hair. And what are the issues with the small locks? A lot of the time people worry about the grid. And I remember putting out um, a survey um, asking size versus grid. Size mattered to most people. The grid seemed to matter mostly to the consultants, but not to the wearers. They cared more about the fullness. We've got to a point where we are seeing a lot of hair loss with the small locks, with the sister locks. And we continually ask the question, why? Sometimes the answer might be wrong because we are new to this. And we, as we're collecting data, as we're collecting evidence, we're sharing it and we're learning more and more. We might be wrong with this theory, but we're thinking the grid might be an issue for some people. Now, if you have the grid and it's not an issue for you, this post isn't for you. But for those who are worried about achieving the grid and feel they're not able to achieve the grid, your hair might just be the texture that can't keep the grid, that can't showcase your hair with the grid. It shouldn't matter. What should matter is the size being the right size to give you the fullness you want your hair to achieve. Now for us, it's always about achieving maximum fullness. So the size that we create enables maximum fullness. Now, if we can achieve the grid, fantastic, but the grid is not a priority and is becoming less and less of a priority because the focus is more on the fullness. And for you to get the fullness, sometimes you have to like forget the grid, forget that line and try and achieve the right lock size rather than the right grid. The grid is a problem and it's becoming a problem and an issue for us. But that's personal to Bespoke Hairstyles and m &H. Because we were not born with grids. We weren't born with automatic grids. And we're talking about going back to being natural. And more and more we're feeling like if you've got continual partings in your hair, isn't that hair loss? That's encouraging the hair to be pulled all the time to create clear lines to show the grid, something you weren't born with. So if you look at my hair, for example, my hair hasn't got the grid. When I started off, I had the grid, but more and more, um, the grid began to vanish. The grid began to disappear. And really, I just don't think it's that important. What I think is important is the finishing, is the fullness. The only reason why I'm doing this post is because I feel like maybe one person will watch this just before they retie, which usually is painful because their, their consultant is trying to find the grid and maybe it's time to accept the fact that your hair won't keep the grid. Because I worry that if the consultant is there trying to dig and clear out and find the grid, what's happening is you're getting permanent hair loss, long-term hair loss, because they're obsessing about the grid. I want you to know there are people out there who have the small locks, who don't rock the grid, and their hair still feels on point and their hair is right. Those who can keep the grid, great, but if you can't, don't obsess about it, because we just want to avoid that pain of trying to find the grid because it can't be that important. It can't be more important than your follicles. The grid cannot be more important than the functionality of your follicles. If it's to the detriment of your follicles, then the grid has to go and just get your hair retightened at the right size where you're maintaining the fullness that your hair can give you. I hope this makes sense. 
don't worry about the grid. The message is don't worry about the grid. If your hair can achieve the grid, great. But if it can't, let go of it. Let go of it and celebrate the fullness and the way your curls work and how it complements the finishing of your locks. Yeah, that's the message. The grid is not that important. Your, your follicles are more important. So that's the message. Hope this makes sense. We appreciate the comments below and we try to respond as often as possible, but apologies in advance because a lot of the time it gets busy and responding is difficult. But what I'm going to try and do is try and respond to the comments via post, which is easier for me. Because sometimes when you're texting, there's not enough, like texting just doesn't work with some of the questions. You also have to be aware when you ask me questions about your hair, it's quite difficult because I've not met you and your hair. So I always say, well, go back to your consultant and have a conversation with your consultant about your situation. And if you're not happy, just search. Search for a consultant with regards to the grid. Search for a consultant who is not that obsessed with the grid and much more obsessed with the fullness of your hair. Visualize the what you want for your hair. Visualize the finishing you want for your hair and find the right consultant. That consultant will find you. Take care. Bye.